my friends. So um, it's another day and another book talk. And today I have a really great book. It's called Life by Cynthia Ryland. It's got really beautiful pictures. But before we get started with that, let's start with our words of affirmation. So everybody say, I am strong. I am brave. I am kind. I am good. And I am loved because you are all of those things. And we want you to know that every single day. So today is a really awesome book and it's called Life and I feel like it um, is something that we can all relate to right now. So it's kind of a story about life and how it's always changing. So Life by Cynthia Ryland. And the, the book starts off by saying like there's so much to love about life. And there's so many really great pictures in this book and it talks about how life begins small like a little seed or like babies or small like wild animals like even elephants. Even elephants begin small and then they grow. And with each changing sun and moon, we're all changing and growing and every day is different and we're always growing and changing. And so life grows and is constantly growing and all around the world, all different kinds of animals, you could ask them, what do you love about life? And they would all tell you something different. The snake would tell you something that he loves and the turtle would tell you something that he loves and the turtles lived a long life because turtles live like a long time right okay they can live up to 100 years or even a little longer than that but sometimes life is not always easy it can feel like you're stuck in a storm and so right now this little bluebird feels like it's stuck in a storm because life isn't always easy even for things in nature right and there will be stretches of wilderness every now and then right where things are just more uncertain out in the wild but the wilderness eventually ends. So it was like really like scary kind of for that little bird, but then it finds a new path and at the, at the end of the darkness, there's light, right? And it says there's always a new road to take and a new path to find and a new, a new way, a new, a new road to travel. And there's always in every corner of the world something to love, something too um, unique that we that we love. There's always something to protect, like our wildlife, right? Yeah. And if one day it seems like nothing beautiful will ever come your way again because it's so dark and it just feels like, oh my goodness, when am I ever gonna see something beautiful? We can trust in all the little things around us. We can trust in the rabbit that we see, or the deer that might come across our path, or the wolf out in nature, or the birds, the, the birds they, that fly home, right? Because they are always migrating every year. They, they um, fly south for the winter. So these animals know what to do, and they overcome different seasons and, and all the changing things that, that they happen to come across because that is just kind of their normal, right? They, they come across these things, and, and and they know how to deal with it, it's just like within them. All these things know something about life and that everything is changing. So they know they know that, right? They know that in the winter they have to store up so that they can hibernate if they're like a bear or that they need to fly south if they're a bird. So they know that the seasons are always changing, that life is changing so that they need to adapt for the changing world. And it's worth waking up in the morning to see what might happen, right? Because it's exciting that the world is kind of changing and new. So change can be exciting and, and awesome or it can be a little bit scary, right? Because life begins small and then it grows and grows. And so it's a really fun book that just kind of talks about life and it has really awesome pictures. So I really encourage you to um, listen to that full story on YouTube or something like that. But I thought that this is something that we could apply right now because it's kind of feeling scary. Like we don't really know what's gonna happen. This is kind of like a different season. This is like a hard thing that's happening for us right now, right? And we don't know what's gonna come next. And so we can choose to be fearful and scared and worried, or we can choose to find beauty, right? Within, within this scary time. And so we can choose to focus on the good things that we have around us and, and the good things that are, um, you know, happening. Um, like we get more quality time, right? We're, we're together. That's hard because we're all together, but then it's a little bit, you know, it's great too because we're getting to see family and spend good quality time with our families. Um, you might just go in the backyard and play and you can hear the birds chirping. It's been spring and so it's beautiful and the blue bonnets are out. So even though our lives 
are feeling a little different right now, a little difficult. There's still a lot of beauty and wonder and all the nature is still, you know, it's, it's, it's living and it's surviving and it's thriving right now, right? And then this beautiful weather. So just knowing that things will happen and in each day is a changing day, right? And so change can be a little scary, but it can be kind of exciting too. So I really liked that book life and I thought that was a fun one for us. And so then today, also gonna go back to our Breathe Like a Bear book. There's some breathing activities in here I found too that I thought would be fun to do today. So the first one is called Your Favorite Color. So look at all those fun bright colors. So what is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. I love green, all green. I like lime green and like forest green. I just love green. So is your favorite color blue or purple, orange or red, or another color, teal or chartreuse? Imagine a little ball of your favorite color inside your body. Maybe it's where your heart is, or maybe it's in your belly. I think when I close my eyes, I imagine my green ball in my belly, but maybe your green ball's in your heart, or maybe it's in your brain. So take a deep breath in and imagine the ball getting bigger and bigger. It takes over your whole body. Imagine that everything all around you is your favorite color and it feels really warm and good. Take a long, slow breath in and let it all the way out. So I want you to practice that now. So pick your favorite color. I want you to take a deep breath in and as you breathe in, imagine that that color is just spreading all over your body and that everything around you, imagine the room that you're in is covered in that color. Kind of like we're turning into the characters from Inside Out where you, where you are that color. So I'm gonna turn green, even though I'm not like the disgust character from Inside Out. I like joy better, but I'll be great right now, okay? So I'm gonna breathe in, breathe out. And so green is now filling me. And that makes me smile because I love green. And so that's a happy thing and that's a happy color. So I want you to try it and see if it fills you with happiness, okay? And then I found another fun one that I thought would be good. It's called Waves on the Water. Imagine you're standing in front of a lake the water is flat and calm like glass. You have a stone in your hand and you throw it in the water. When it lands, it makes little waves in the water, little ripples. In your mind, watch the little waves as they go further and further out, getting smaller and smaller. Watch the lake in your mind until it gets totally calm and flat. Take a deep breath in and let it all the way out. So as you breathe in, notice that the lake is calm and then breathe out and notice all the ripples and just picture that pretty picture in your mind, how it's still, and then you throw a pebble across and then you get to watch all the ripples go out from where that stone hit in the, in the water. And just breathing in and out and focusing on that can help you feel calm and safe. So today you can choose to think of waves on the water or you could do the what's your favorite color and, and um, picture that you're turning that color and that the room is turning that color. So again, I hope you enjoyed Breathing Like a Bear, another activity we did out there, and then Life by Cynthia Bryland. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Mrs. Grant will be back um, with us in a couple days.